Hello, you guys. This is Myra with Happy Soul Happy Life.、Um, so, how are we all doing in our ascension? Now, I don't want to call it a collective energy update because we are all going in all different stages.、Uh, we're experiencing a lot of things. Very, it feels very much of a warp zone.、Um, so. I don't think it's a collective.、Uh, so what I'm gonna be、uh, talking to you guys about is what we are experiencing, what we are seeing, and what we are tapping into. Now, these、uh, things that I'm gonna talk about might be just little clues to lead you to. It's like another stepping stone that will lead you into your ascension. Um, some of these can be confirmations, and some will be kind of activations. Okay, so what I really wanna talk to you guys, and I'm just gonna go down the line, and if I have a little bit more to say on that,、um, I will add onto that. Okay, so let's see. So we are seeing、um, with the. Right, the new moon in Scorpio. I think the energies hit, and even、um, now that Saturn is going to be in Aquarius, it, it brings much of that energy. I'm starting to feel that energy. So it looks like、uh, the energy never stops. It just keeps continuing, and it keeps going, and it keeps evolving. Right,、um, but with、uh, when the Scorpio new moon came in. It really brought a lot of things that kind of were very tedious of you. Were like, oh, maybe that is not the best version of myself.、Um, but we saw the Scorpio energy in a different light.、Um, definitely, he,、uh, the Scorpio energy. We really don't. Understand it until we actually、um, review and see what is all the hype about. Because Scorpio energy is very intense, and it seems to bring the things that we really don't like to see, or that we're not the highest version of ourselves. But it is here for a purpose. It's here to transform any negative energy, which a lot before、um, we got that epiphany or that clarity,、um, we would have this passion for the Scorpio energy. And overall, I think that when we go through our ascension, we get to tap into. Each sign, so we become that sign. Okay, say for me, I'm Aquarius, right? My sign is Aquarius, but you embody all these signs, energies, right? And you can see yourself in all of the signs, right? And you can, and that is definitely confirmation. Sorry about that, and definitely that is confirmation on that.、Uh, so you get to embody the polarity of it, the good and the bad, right? But ultimately, the goal is to embody the best version of that energy. Okay, and so what we were seeing is kind of、uh, planting the seeds, right? What is there that we need that we would want to grow, and what we can change, and what we can transmute? Okay, and so that is what I have in regards of what we were experiencing. Okay, you know, and as we evolve, you know, inside the evolution is definitely happening. It's for preparing us. For what is coming in, right? I am attracting. What are you attracting? 
So it's more of calling the the reality that you are wanting to instead of desiring it. Okay. So the other things is blue Egyptian lotus. I think um, th throughout these days, um, our head is expanding so much that at one time I felt that my head felt like it was bigger than my body and like my head is like dragging to the floor because that's so much intake that you are getting so many um, messages energetically that you are receiving a lot of downloads and knowing how to communicate and, and try to translate that it, it's it's kind of a challenge because a lot of energy comes in a lot of downloads come in and your mind is just pumping it's just like it pumps blood you know it's just raising through your body and it just flowing uh, so it is to really get centered when these downloads come in and to not lose your focus, okay? And try not to get in that of there's not enough time. You know, it like if you are running out of time and you are needing to get in, you know, to the finish line. No, it's not about that. You have to really kind of block the distractions and the illusions of that and and move forward and just keep doing what you're doing. So uh, before I move forward, I do want to let you guys know that I have been doing updates on uh, these past days, past weeks um, for the energy updates. So please follow me on my podcast or you can listen to them. Uh, you can even listen to any episode that seems to be called to you. But for the most recent updates until today, I have been doing them all on my podcast. Okay, so the Blue Egyptian Lotus, uh, that may be something that is kind of like a stepping stone to your ascension. So if you're called to that, um, definitely look that up. Uh, herbs is a very big thing right now, and it's definitely connected to our ancestors in the connection of our past lives. It really brings you to a story plot, okay? Um, the other is conviviendo con las energías, um, you know, partnering with the energies that are coming in. Now, these energies that we are feeling are not energies that we <laughs> were accustomed. These are new energies. These are energies that are wanting to kind of coexist with you and wanting to make a life with you, okay? And also the power of the now and the power of you. Now, those two I'm going to make separate videos on, but it's definitely uh, very potent once you have that connection with the power of the now and the power of the you. It looks like all the juices start flowing to you and all leads to this unknown reality that you are wanting to bring down okay this is includes with manifestation includes everything it kind of makes the wheel turn and the galactic and making these beautiful universes that are coming in and you are developing and creating um so the other thing is uh, cosmic intelligence, right? So the update on the cosmic intelligence. We all like to hear that for sure. So 6D communication imagery, right? So this is not only just, ha this is now beyond happening in the dream state. It is definitely happening um, when you are when you just close your eyes or even when you have your eyes open, it is... Um, there for you to connect with it, it brings a message to you and you may not understand it because all you see is like wait I have seen this before I just didn't connect one and one together 
right? Well, this is what's definitely happening. This is 6D communication, right? Um, like I said, communication is very big. Now I can understand in my ascension why communication is so big for me at this time. And it had been in throughout my life. Um, but like I said, we're warping through dimensions. And you're kind of just observing. You know, um, you're, you haven't gotten your feet wet. Uh, but you're definitely removed your shoes and your socks. And you're just wiggling your feet. Uh, you do respond to some of the communication and you have a feel of understanding, but you know that you're very new to it. But that it definitely makes sense. <laughs> and it definitely takes an effort to learn to, to communicate this way. Okay. So uh, once you see an imagery, um, really connect with it, you know, respond to it um, and see what else it comes. Okay. This is, like I said, this is all new to us, to, to the evolution of humanity. It is definitely new that we did not know. So it, there's no wrong or right is the communication that we are having. Okay. Just like we have many different languages. This is many different ways to communicate with everything, right? And you're thinking outside the box. So whoopee! So a lot of us um, was, we had a hard time with this. It was very challenging for us to think outside the box. And we are definitely now getting confirmation that we are definitely doing that. Um, the other thing is geometric shapes. Um, they are kind of like your friend. It, it, it gives you a, yes, so geometric shapes. Um, it gives you, it gives you messages, you know, it, it really gives you an understanding on what these mess, what these shapes have, what is their meaning? What is what are they bringing into the table, right? Um, it kind of brings us to the perspective is an understanding that we have an experience with each and everything that we connect with, right? Uh, let's see. We the other thing is that we have transition from the mind to the soul. So the soul guides and the mind follows. And that is also huge for a lot of us. Okay. So that is definitely confirmation that our mind is getting reprogrammed. And gratitude for that has been shown and experienced. Never forget that when you feel this like little uh, tingling sensation or ringing of the ear or something that the energy just kind of takes over your body, really enjoy that because that is the time when sometimes you are just loving life and it's just like, this is the time that I have always wanted and expected. Um, more than expected, right? Uh, so it's just, it's just a flow of unconditional love. It's very, it's very much euphoria and um, it's very good to experience. So once you experience this type of energy that comes in into your body, and it could be, you know, a seconds, but those seconds are marvelous. It, it is very, absolutely very beautiful. So just make sure you have gratitude when things come in. And even like that, when you are alone, you can get that gratitude for your ancestors, or your spirit guides, the divine, yourself, anybody that has been uh, with you, guiding you. Okay. And the last thing that I want to say is the quiet of the mind. Okay. So with a lot of things that are coming in, these downloads, these energies, these frequencies, uh, that are coming in, it's definitely uh, 
very helpful if you can quiet the mind and especially your outer environment okay um and that is because like i said there's gonna be a lot of distractions in your environment that will kind of make you feel discombobulated and make you feel like oh my god where am i so by removing that uh, and you can visualize it you know having a little protection of removing um, yourself from all the illusion noises and distractions that are coming that you can definitely get attuned to what is coming in okay so that is the message is that I have for you guys much love and much blessings and until then okay namaste